this. This sounds good. We're good? Yes, we're good. Hi. I'm Alec Boardman. I'm a senior from Millard South. And this is the one about the dream. So I had this reoccurring dream where I rush to my childhood home, I open my bedroom door, and I am immediately hit with the familiarity of the smell of day-old crackers masked by Febreze. My eyes search to find a cage full of rats. I have never owned a rat, and yet there are 20 or so of the fuzzy little guys, pink paws, grabbing and clutching at the bars of the cage, exasperated squeaks escaping their mouths as if to scream, help me, or welcome home. <laughs> my subconscious isn't smart enough to clarify which. My, I open the cage and a few of them are dead. Stiff, small, dead, but instead of waiting to mourn, I quickly scoop the others up in my arms and cuddle them close. My, the scenery changes to a pirate ship in the way that dreams do, and the rats become afraid, and they hurry out of my arms, and I desperately try to scramble them all up. But one by one, they all fall overboard. Now. I aced AP Psychology, so I know how to interpret this. There are three theories on dreams. Information processing theory says that dreams sort, sift, and fix through today's experiences and turn them into memories. I don't remember losing any rats on a pirate ship, so that isn't it. <laughs> Problem solving theory says that dreams are the continuity of waking thought, but without the constraints of logic or realism. And it says that dreams are meant for solving your problems and my rats are metaphors. For what? My problems? I love rats, so if rats are my problems, then what does that say about me that I keep trying to hold my issues and insecurities close to me, but I can't juggle them all, that my chances keep falling and dying and I'm losing my sense of self, that I need to find a reason to be the victim in every situation so I can ignore that my faults ever happened, and, and what about the pirate ship? Like, I don't even like pirates, so why would I put myself in a place I don't like and then cling to disgusting faults like they're precious? This doesn't make sense! Except, maybe it does, and I refuse to accept it. I don't want to get better. I want to stay in this awful cycle forever. But activation synthesis theory says that dreams are just the brain's way of trying to make sense of random neural firings by creating a story. So in other words, dreams have no meaning. So this whole poem is worthless, as worthless as a rat. A small, insignificant, soft and cuddly, yet short-lived rat. Wow!